high throughput device, the ARI Amino Acid Rapid Imager is primarily a time saving system that has been designed to dramatically increase the speed at which finger marks treated with amino acid based processes can be visualised and photographed. In addition to some very high quality imaging components, the ARI system is the first Foster and Freeman instrument to include the AI Assist Ridge Detection software tool. The AI Assist in the ARI unit is designed to help find relevant sites on substrate evidence. It's looking for any region which has enough ridge detail that it might be useful to you be this full fingerprints or partial prints from a palm. It's designed to help remove this labor intensive first screening step and instead give an examiner more time to spend looking at actual sites. To train the AI Assist, we developed a large number of finger marks from a wide range of donors and developed them using different chemical compounds. We then manually marked up all sites containing relevant ridge detail and use this as the basis of our information to which we trained the AI Assist. As a result, AI Assist has seen real prints across a range of different reagents and different substrate types. We did this to give it the best possible chance of helping you in whatever your casework might contain. A key point for using artificial intelligence is understanding its limitations, correctly understanding what it can and can't do. For example, artificial intelligence is very good at helping with labor-intensive tasks, very repetitive, time-consuming work um, that don't require a large amount of thought. However, artificial intelligence won't be 100% accurate all of the time. It will make mistakes much as a human examiner might. The AI Assist is looking for any region with important ridge detail, whether it's from a fingerprint or a partial palm print. The AI Assist in the ARI cannot, however, recognize specific prints and doesn't remember any of the detail it's seen. It removes the time-consuming work of scouring through documents for the relevant areas and instead gives more time for examiners to decide which sites they think are most useful to take forwards. Okay, so today we're going to use a sample of a paper which has been treated with DFO. So here we have our ARI system and it's just a simple case of lifting the lid and placing our evidence onto the glass plate and bringing the lid back down again. Now actually on the front of the ARI unit we have a touchscreen interface where when we click it it brings up a wheel of different treatment types, different chemical treatment types of porous evidence. And you can simply click on one of these and it will set the light and filter uh, settings on the ARI that are specific to that reagent. Okay, so let's have a look at the software. So if we go to the top right of the screen here, this is actually all of your controls for the different lighting and filter combinations that you might need for a variety of different treatments. Now below this, we also have a number of presets. So we've actually put in the filter and light combinations that you specifically need for different treatments. And you can navigate through the different treatments and pick simply a preset and it will apply those light source and filter combinations for you. So let's capture our image. Now our really fascinating feature with the ARI is our AI assisted ridge detection technology. Now it's not designed to replace the examiner, it's designed to help the examiner to find more marks more quickly and more efficiently. And what we can do here is using our image we can simply press generate AI regions and the system is now going to scan for ridge detail for us and it will mark up areas of interest. Okay so you can see it's picked out a number of different areas of interest and we can have this as boxes or we can actually have it as a heat map. Now what we can do as well is, you'll see there's lots of different boxes here, but if we have a full finger mark, we can actually, if we right click and confirm it, that will mark up that area as a specific finger mark. And we can do this all the way around, 
just confirming all of our areas of interest. And then we can save the confirmed regions to the gallery.